Hello everyone, my name is Pew Pew Choo Choo, and today we will be playing a little bit of Kira Command Gaia mission for the PC. So, this is a hybrid strategy slash, uh, slash third person, first person shooter game. I know it's a, it's a fairly odd mix that you don't see uh, very often. I figured I'd play a little bit of it. I also released a first impressions video. I hope you check that out for my uh, casual review if you'd like. But uh, today we're going to play a little bit of campaign, or uh, the, the strategy game portion of it. So let's get on started. Um, our objectives are to take the Red Islands down here. You play as the United Earth Coalition, and you fight the Asia-Pacific Alliance in reality. Uh, that just boils down to red versus blue. And our objective is to eliminate the enemy carrier operating inside this area, as well as to take the the Asia Pacific Alliance's holdings, which are these red islands. So let's get on started by going to the island of Deadlock and invading that. In the meantime, uh, we can kind of mess around with the strategy portion of the game. So as you can see here, there are quite a lot of different islands on the map. Uh, all of these islands are essentially randomly generated. Their positioning on this map is randomly generated. The facilities on them are also randomly generated. For example, Terminus has a uh, resource harvesting operation and uh, Frontier has a shield here representing its defensive location. Those are all randomly generated, but the map itself isn't. So the layouts of the different uh, turrets of the different enemy forces or the friendly forces will always be uh, changed through every playthrough, although the actual map itself won't be. Now in the meantime, let's get on started by producing uh, some different armored uh, forces and some fuel for our carrier and some, uh, some other things. So let's get that started uh, first and foremost. Grab some of these. some of that. Now the, the whole purpose of keeping these islands is to essentially increase your production rate and Sir, your your, one or more external your harvesting rate uh, represented by the two things right here and that just relates to how many of the different types of islands that you have. If we don't want to spend our lives hacking the command center, we'll need to disable at least half. Alright, so we've arrived at an enemy island um, and we plan to take deadlock from the enemy. Now in the meantime, uh, we have at our disposal four of each vehicles and I, I, I'm not necessarily sure if you can increase this cap or whether or not it's just constant, although uh, to my experience it is constant throughout. If um, if we take this island, the enemy will probably either come here and take it back or do the same thing with to us with uh, one of their own carriers, so it, it, it is this constant tug of war. And, um, in theory, if you really wanted to destroy all the island's facilities, you can also do that. Alright, first and foremost, uh, since we plan on capturing this island, let's get a scout drone out, and let's get that to perform a scouting uh, sortie around the island. So let's get him to fly a route like that. And that will locate all of the islands' uh, turrets and defensive structures, and essentially um, what what we have to take out on the island. In the meantime, uh, let's equip our units. So this is uh, unto, up until now, you've pretty much seen all the um, the strategy elements of the game, um, excluding the vehicle customization. So let's come in here and let's equip all of our different. Uh, aircraft with rockets, machine guns, and one with plasma cannon. This one needs an ammo box as well. And for our land vehicles, let's do uh, something rather similar. So shells, um, Check your maps there. heavy armor, the, using the armor mark II, and uh, we're going to load them up with missiles, Another firewall within range, sir. ammo boxes, and we're going to give this one a repair gun and a hacking capsule. Oh, never mind, it, apparently I stand corrected, it can only have a hacking capsule, so let's arm it with a light machine gun. So now we have our have our uh, forces equipped, and it looks like we've located the command center on the island, which we need to hack, 
and um, certain islands such as Deadlock and uh, Medusa have select uh, specialty objectives such as uh, the scramblers on this island Deadlock has the firewall defense and that's just kind of to vary up the objectives now uh, since we have firewalls on this island we are going to have to hack the firewalls here and I believe no not here if there is another one I believe we'll have to hack those first before we actually uh, take the command center so let's move the carrier up here uh, near this firewall and let's go and hack that in the meantime, uh, we can take a look at the the shooter elements of this game. So let's launch a Manta, and let's get this uh, VTOL aircraft to go and make a few missile raids onto the island's inhabitants. Got a nice little uh, volcano here. Fly next to it. And let's find where the enemy forces are. So I can I can play this as a strategy game as well. I mean I can order my units on this uh, this map layout here. So I can order my man to fly next to the the little area over here and take out the enemies. Or alternatively, I can just I've indicated another firewall system. I can just hop into the units. So right now I want to take over that uh, firewall. Let's launch our amphibious craft, so that will be deployed from our carrier. And we're going to get those craft onto the island. The manta over here is going to perform some raids. I'm going to take command of it. And get get it to just eliminate some of the some of the enemy ground forces here. Now the missiles are guided. Uh, these missiles are good against ground forces and structures. The game kind of has the, the whole rock, paper, scissors layout uh, going on where select the weapons are good against select uh, foes and let's let's uh, get rid of this walrus production facility. This thing is constantly producing these uh, these enemy forces so we need to get rid of these structures. There we go. And it looks like our ground forces are uh, are getting into a little bit of a jiffy with these enemy forces protecting this firewall. Now number seven has taken quite a little bit of damage. Let's let's bring him back and let's get number six to find this oh no never mind the AI has done that for me. They AI uh, eliminated that manta which was harassing my unit. Now seeing as this place is uh, already neutralized let's bring manta number two uh, over here to assist our ground forces. Or maybe not. Maybe everything will be cleared now that uh, all the enemy defenses were eliminated. Nah. Oh well. So let's get Manta number two to engage some of the turrets over here. Alright, there we go. Now that those facilities are taken out, let's uh, let's blow up the the manta producing helipad over here. There we go. And since he's out of ammo, let's bring him back. Now we can get uh, we can get the walrus walrus number eight or nine to hack the command console. Second thought, maybe the maybe the AI's driving isn't all that well so uh, we will have to bring him out of this little corner and move him over here. The game does feature a night and day cycle so uh, right now it's rather dark and I'll actually turn up the brightness for uh, you folk right now so let's get that up. Just a gamma bar. What text? I don't, I don't even see any text right now. 
Well done, sir. The oh, well. There we go. So now that we've uh, we've taken over one firewall defense system, that'll reduce the enemy's ability to to uh, to defend their command center right here. If we take another one, then we should be able to hack this thing. I believe we have to take uh, half of the, uh, the 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 amount of these firewall systems on the map. So we'll have to take this one and uh, two more I believe, or rather one more. Let's get our ground forces to move to their objective. And since Mento 2 is uh, back in action, let's get him to fly a another raid onto the island. Where the heck am I going? Oh, it looks like the uh, the enemy's Manta fighter drone thing is actually chasing my scout drone around. That's kind of cool. They aren't necessarily going to do anything to that uh, drone, though. Look at it. Look at it go. Look at it go. Oh, I lost sight of him. Alright, well, this island is actually fairly weak. I'm not seeing a lot of defenses or a lot of enemy turrets around, so that, that is a very good thing. Um, in the meantime, I suppose we can just fly around. Oh. Uh, that missile just kind of bounced off the, uh, the Manta, but that was rather strange. In the meantime, we can just get our Manta number... Manta number 2, or unit number two to fly around and to eliminate all of the defenses over here. We have heavy armor, we have Mark II armor which is the, uh, the middle of the line stuff so we should be able to tank the tourists with relative ease like that. Let's get rid of the the walrus production facility as well. And then we should be done here. The laser isn't that great for taking out enemies. Now oddly enough this game has some some type of auto-aim system uh, that just does everything for you. I suppose that is alright. Let's get them to dock. Where is number 9? Number 9 is here, number 8 is uh, in the vanguard. So I suppose he can actually rearm here. Now you are able to t take use of the, uh, the facilities on the island, so I believe if we come over here we can actually get our forces to rearm. Or maybe that's only after we, uh, we capture the, the facilities there. Anywho, in the meantime, all we really need to do is to bring up Walrus number 9 to hack the consoles. I've gotta say, the game looks rather nice in the nighttime setting. Oh, what is that? Two mantas in the air. It's got Walrus number uh, 9 to take these things out. Damn, these missiles aren't homing, so that will be a major problem if, uh, if we can't handle these. Oh, never mind, the, the AI is able to, to use these to much greater efficiency than we can, so that is, that is a very good thing. And in the meantime, Manta number 2 is, uh, is back at base. It's healing up. Let's get the land forces to come over here and take out this uh, firewall now. So this is just kind of an island raid. Uh, as we as we progress through this, it, things will be a lot more easier as time goes on. And actually, quite possibly, we could try to capture the command center right now. So let's actually bring all of our forces here. 
and let's get a few more aircraft out. As soon as uh, Meta number two is refueled and rearmed, we will launch that out. For now, let's take a, one of the uh, reserve planes out. There we go. What are they fighting over there? They're fighting a single Manta. Hmm. Is that thing still existing? In existence? No? That is good. The ground AI, it, it isn't very competent on moving, although it's it's fairly competent in taking out the enemies, so that is that is a plus. Can we capture this yet? No, we cannot. Okay. In that case, let's bring all of the uh, all of the forces over here. Actually, instead of bringing this uh, back home, let's bring this particular Manta to uh, come over here and assist the the ground forces. So on the ground, we should still have a convoy going of uh, four vehicles, and these four vehicles will arrive at the firewall shortly. And in the air, uh, we have a single Manta flying around, uh, going to to strafe the enemy. This thing flies at a terrible speed. It, apparently, this is uh, both a a um, a helicopter-like vehicle where it can just kind of hover in air, and it can also uh, be switched into a fighter role. Although I'm I'm only seeing uh, the the helicopter half of it really. Let's see what's up inside here. Oh, that is the Manta production facility, so we've got to get that uh, off the map as soon as possible. And let's deal with this Manta. There we go. That should make it a lot more... Uh, that should make the, the ground forces' uh, time a lot simpler. Let's see what else is present inside the space. Looks like that is all cleaned up, so now the uh, the ground forces should have a, a fairly easy time going there. And after that, I believe we will we will have enough firewalls destroyed. So hopefully, we don't have to take out this one. I know uh, this is a little tedious. What is this? Another walrus? Wipe that off the field like that. Um, eventually, during during the process of the game, you do unlock uh, other weaponry such as such as like cruise missiles and stuff. And there is a um, a research portion of the game where you can say tech up your different weapons. Why is this particular walrus not moving? Is what I'm wondering about. There we go. Oh, that's why it's taking a uh, a rough route through the terrain where. It just simply cannot. Okay, fair enough. Well, now I've scheduled uh, Warriors number nine to take the correct route, so he'll he'll make that journey by itself and uh, hopefully arrive at the firewall to hack it in in a short amount of time. I'm going to skip um, to when that uh, when Warriors number nine gets there. So I'll see you people in a bit. Hello viewers and welcome back. So, um, as you can see, the, the weather has changed. It was daylight for a little bit, so uh, quite a lot of time has passed since uh, us taking over the, the firewalls. I'm, I've finished most of these uh, firewall objectives, so uh, I have a feeling that we can actually capture the command post uh, right now, so I think I'll, I'll do that right now. I'll be bringing the vehicle number 9 over there to hack it momentarily. Eight, low fuel 
And it looks like we're actually running very, very low on fuel, so uh, we might be running into a little bit of a problem there. You know what I'll do? I think instead I will get one of our aircraft, dock it up, dock all of these up, and I'll equip one with the with the grappling hook. And to just save some time, let's launch. And I believe this plane will be equipped with the uh, grappling hook system now. Yes, it is. We'll fly it next to uh, this walrus right here, and we'll essentially just grapple, grapple it onto the to the manta, and then just drop it off at the uh, at the target, which is the command center, and then I suppose we'll just reel it back. So let's do that right now. There it is. So this is this is a fairly difficult process, like I said, where we uh, this is to bring our Manta up, this is to bring it down, okay. So we had to level off here, and get the timing just right, bringing it about, yes, there we go, perfect. So now we've, uh, we've hooked up the Manta, we've hooked up the waters to the Manta. And let's just get that to uh, get that flown near the command center, and we'll just drop that off. I suppose if you if you really didn't like the land combat inside this game, and personally I I don't really enjoy it, I suppose you can just only use the aircraft, and then um, essentially just carry all of the land vehicles like this to the uh, to the objectives if you uh, really wanted to. I guess that would work. My main problem with the land uh, vehicles is that they keep on getting stuck on all the trees, and it's either uh, either don't make a game with uh, with AI vehicles, with big AI vehicles inside narrow corridors, is, uh, is what I mean, I I suppose. All right, now this this is normally the part that I mess up on landing the Manta with the uh, with the walrus inside it. So let's move forward by a little bit. We're running very low on fuel, and then, yeah, there we go. So let's get that Manta into a hovering location like that, and let's just bring this over here. And that will hack the command center through the use of a sign-colored beam. It looks like we will actually have to take the uh, the other firewalls. Uh, supposedly, you don't need to take all of them. I don't know why we uh, we're all of a sudden required to take all of them. So, with that uh, being kept in mind, let's get all of these docked up. And let's get this one equipped with the hacking capsule and I suppose a uh, a gun. No fuel. Now that's going to take quite a little bit of time to capture it. Let's see if we can speed this uh, this capturing process up by moving some of these uh, these vehicles around. So first and foremost, we need to rescue vehicle number six. Where is vehicle number six exactly? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, this, this is, this is not good. The AI apparently doesn't go into hover mode when you, uh, when you bring the vehicles up. So Lars number 6 is right here, let's bring the aircraft over there. And pick it up, put it back onto the, uh, onto the ship. And everything should be fandy, should be, uh, fine and dandy from that point. that down next to the vehicle and let's just hook that up 
and dock that. Oh my god, and they cannot land with the uh, with the cargo. So what I what I have a few what I what I think I'll have to do is just dump the vehicle, seeing as I don't believe we can get these uh, these empty trucks to actually dock up. Or maybe we can. Maybe we can. Oh, that's that is not very good. That is not very good at all. That is not very good at all. So, um, that leads us to, uh... So we're, we're kind of in a jiffy now. I suppose we are, we'll have to just wait upon the, uh, the command center being captured uh, very, very slowly, I, I suppose. And, um, well, I, I guess we will have to do that. So I'll see you guys in a bit when the command center is actually captured.